Are you ready to get productive with OneNote? In OneNote, the page, or the canvas as we call it, can host all sorts of different content. For example, type text, images, even videos, and also ink input from your pen. To get started typing anywhere on the page, just click and then start typing. You'll notice as you type content onto the page in OneNote that it automatically creates a content box around whatever you're working with. You can move that content box just by clicking and dragging with your mouse, or you can resize the content box. Content boxes can overlay each other, and if you want to combine two content boxes together, just cut the information from one content box and paste it into the next. You'll notice on the home menu at the top of OneNote that we have some formatting options. For example, we can use bullet points or indentation. We can change the font, the font color, and even the highlight color of the text. You'll also find that you can add some structure to your documents by using the headings in OneNote, but you'll notice that these headings are very simple. There's only six blue heading variations in OneNote. So OneNote allows you to work with all kinds of different content, but without a real focus on formatting. If you need to format your content for printing or presentation, take it out of OneNote and put it into a program like Word or PowerPoint. So there's a few simple tips that you can use to get productive with OneNote.